Hey guys, welcome back to Luna's Puzzles. Today we are going to be making these original 3D crystal hands puzzle and it is a set of hands praying together. Um, I got this one because uh, I'm making it as a gift for my mother. Uh, she doesn't know yet, so by the time this has posted I'll have given it to her. So we're gonna jump right in. It doesn't say what level it is on the box. I'm presuming it is a level one to two, so it should be easy for beginners. Um, as with my previous videos, if there is uh, numbers, I'm going to list them out for you so you can uh, follow along with your puzzle. If not, I will try and my best to show the pe each piece as I put it together. Oh, this is cute. So it has some little uh, stickers to put on the base. And then here is the base. Looks like it has a little insert slot. I'm presuming so you can keep the key in for later. Yeah, so you can keep the key in for, if for some reason you want to take apart your puzzle. That's actually a neat thing. I kind of like that. So according to the box, this is the front right here. Um, looks like this is the place for one of the uh, stickers. Looks like you can only choose one. So we, I will decide what I'm going to put on later on. We have our rod for... Uh, keeping the puzzle together. And we have our pieces. Alrighty. So I do have the box off to the side just as a general guideline for trying to figure out some of the pieces. Um, just that way you know. Uh, I kind of have that in my mind. So looks like this is piece number one. And as far as this goes, I'm just going to take another look at another piece. So unlike the Disney ones, these do not have um, numbers on them. So it is a free, free for all, I guess you can say. Um, Okay, so I found one, the, not the smallest piece, but the smallest, like, two for piece. Uh, when I say that, I mean, like, two pieces that could have been separated. They have little slots on top, and it looks like it is a giant hole for the um, rod to go through. And the hands fit together on this one. So we're going to set the hands, which are unique pieces, and this aside, so that way it's not in my general pile. Okay. So I'm going to set this down. We're going to look for the other pieces that make up the, um, the base. Okay, so I did find two pieces that go together. So they look like this. Now, while I don't know where they go exactly on the puzzle right now, we're just going to set them to the side. Judging by how this flat line looks and that these have a flat line, I'm presuming it's going to go along there somewhere. So we're just going to kind of follow suit. And also I'm setting aside the other flat pieces that I find. Um, I'm also trying to keep an eye out for any smaller pieces that look like they will fit into these little divot right here. Now this puzzle is going to be kind of unique in that it is uh, 
at least for me, it is at an angle. We're still building row by row, but it's not like your usual puzzles that are going to be um, sort of more at a horizontal level. Okay, so I just found one piece. Looks like this. And that goes right on top of here. So we're going to look for a similar piece that might match over on this side. Okay, and I have. So here is the other piece that's going to fit next to it. I'm trying to get that in angle for you. It's going to fit this way. So we're going to grab the two pieces that we had set aside before. Again, they look like this. I'm sorry that it's yellow on my pale hands, but it's best I got. And you are just going to set them on top. Alrighty. So again, it looks like it repeats the pattern of we're going to look for two pieces that are on the upper half of this. All right, I have found one. There's a rather larger piece. And it's going to be on this right side here. And I believe I have the other piece. Yes, I do. And that's what this one looks like. All right, so now that we have those two pieces in, it's gonna be that left side down first, then the right side. While I was looking, I did find two other pieces that are uh, flat, so that is what they look like. All right, there we go. Now they have set in. So now here's where it looks like it's going to be getting a little trickier from here on out. We're looking at all of these smaller pieces. So there is one piece to fit up here in the middle. It looks like I have found it right away, which is lucky for me. All right, there we go. And just as a quick update, this is what you are puzzle is going to start looking like, where it is at an angle. Alright, so it looks like this next larger piece, well it's medium size, uh, larger comparison to the little ones that we are having left over now. Uh, it looks like it is sits in the middle. And it does, it fits in right perfectly, fills in those little spaces that we've had here, and it's going to be building up. Now there are some notches, which looks like there are pieces later on that are gonna sit on top and fit in. But for right now, uh, we don't need those pieces because they do not have anything to sit into. Okay. So now just feeling because it's a little hard to see with crystal puzzles, so I tend to like feel them um, for the not for the bumps and ridges. We're going to be looking for actually a rather large piece, which looks like these are going to be the last of some of our larger pieces. So this is one. You can see it's kind of thick. And it is going on our left side. It's going to be making up 
uh, sort of the bottom half of the um, shirt sleeves. So I'm presuming this is the next one. And it is, nicely fits. Uh, that little piece earlier that I mentioned that has a notch in it, uh, we're going to take that one. Oh, sorry. Has the notch. We're going to slide that one right on in. So now the bottom halves of both the sleeves are done, if you feel. So we're going to take the last top part of the sleeves. We're going to set that in. All right, and now these sleeves are all done. So your puzzle will look like this. All righty. So let's see. So now we are left with the smaller building pieces of the hands. I'm just bringing these pieces forward so I can get a better look at them. And this is probably where I'm going to start having trouble because they're not as easily de definable as the um, sleeves were. But we're going to do our best. You know what I didn't realize is missing? My other lamp. I am so sorry about how dark this video has been. <laughs> okay, so we did find this piece. And it's going to fit on top. Mine seems to be struggling with the fit just a little bit, but it does work in this spot. So we'll see. Uh, also with this one, with mine, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not flush right here. I'm going to take one of my tools if I can find it. No, I cannot. Um... Oh yes, here we go. And I'm just going to nip part of that plastic off. Now if you don't have, uh, now if you come into that sort of problem, you can also use sandpaper. Sandpaper works really well too. Even though this is the only piece that fits, it is fighting with the ledge of um, the sleeves here. So you really got to make sure it like fits just right in place. All right, so now we are continuing back to the little troublemaking spot of the lower sleeves. All right, and it looks like we found the piece. So it was a small one right here. has sort of a flatter edge. We're looking at these pieces right here. And those are what's going to fit into the bottom part of the what's going to be the hands. Alrighty, good job. If you've been following along with me, great. If you're ahead of me already, that's super great. I'm proud of you. Alright, so we're going to continue on. 
Uh, like I said, the smaller pieces for me always give me a harder time. I don't know why that is. Um, probably just because my way my brain works. Um, but if you're following along, good job. Keep it up. We're going to make it. Okay, so it's going to be another long piece is our next one. We're looking at this. This is the side that's going to go down. And we're going to place it on top. Now it doesn't seem to block. It will seem to block the neck, the piece that's on. Um, it will seem to block the piece that it will be right here. So we are right now going to take it out and set that aside so we know that's there. We are going back to this piece right here. So the next piece is this one. goes right in there. So we talked about the, how this piece is going in on top. Okay. So we're going to do this piece. It's going to go on top of the hands that we were building. And now we need the bottom piece. Okay, here's the next piece. For this one, this was a little hard. You're going to be looking for this big uh, insert and this little like pip. And it goes on the bottom half. Next piece for the bottom is going to be this one. We were looking for these this side of the pieces. Oh, be careful here because we are building at an angle. Some of the pieces seem like they want to go this, you know, fall off this way. All right, next piece is going to be this one. There we go. All right, a little hard to get it in, but we got it. Okay, so here's our next piece. This is going to be for the top. Got this piece right here. It's going to slip onto the bottom portion. Alrighty. doing good guys I'd say we're a little over halfway there now okay here's the next piece it's gonna go on the bottom here This is the next piece. Here's the piece that's going to go on the left portion that is open. Here's the right side portion.
Here's the next one. All right, here we go. This is the actual piece we wanted. All right, so we got this piece. We got another one. Bottom piece of the location we're working on. Now it is starting to get a little fiddly, so I'm carefully putting these pieces on. All right. This one's going on the left. And this last piece is going on the right. Now I'm not going to move it too much to show you because it is going uh, sideways right now. So then we have the final unique piece. So we're just going to find out which way this lines up. And if it doesn't work one way, it works the other. <laughs> now we're going to put the rod in. There we go. Now before I screw it in, I'll show you what it looks like. So you see it's kind of going off to the side. All right, now it's all tightened in. Should be able to see it here at the very bottom. Oh, and it is not all the way in. Okay, so at this point in time, we're gonna take the piece, since it's all together, we're gonna mush it. You can see how there is a bit here. And we're gonna just keep screwing it in. That's why you always got to check your puzzles. Because I have had these come apart because of a naughty cat that wanted to uh, play with them. Alright. So it won't save them from a fall, but it will save them from... You know, just somebody coming over and like picking it up, going, "Oh, what's this?" So you can give it a light tug. Nothing's coming off. This bottom piece, light tug. It's all the way at the bottom now. If you can see, I know it's a little hard, but trust me, you, it definitely feels more solid, and you can't move or shift pieces. Okay, they'll shift if you twist them, but you can't move or shift pieces if you're just pulling on it. The two hands have a piece here in the middle. You can see there's like a little nub right here. And there's an indent. So you're just going to line them up. Oh, and there's also one at the tip of the fingers too, apparently. Right here that I just missed. So you're going to line them up, push them together. Wonderful. 
and you're going to have it so the thumbs are facing away from you if you've been building it the same way I have. And once they are all together, this is your puzzle. So this is a really nice and unique puzzle. I had fun doing it. It's definitely different working at an angle than just straight up and down. I really think my mom's going to like it. Uh, I'm probably going to give it to her for Valentine's Day. Again, this video might post after that. Um, and I haven't decided what... Which one of these I'll use. Because she's a religious person. Um, might do the God bless you. Because I think she'll enjoy that. So it's very simple. You'll end up just pulling off the sticker here. doing this one-handed so I'll probably have to fix this I'm going to let's see line it up with the sides and then just inlay it that actually looks pretty good alrighty Thank you for joining me on this tutorial of how to build the prayer hands from the Puzzled 3D Crystal Puzzle. I hope you enjoyed this and let me know if you have any questions or if you want to see me do other special uh, 3D puzzles in the future. Thank you for stopping by. Like and subscribe. Bye-bye.